Howdy guys. Okay, so what we're talking about here is how to create an aggregate device from uh, several FireWire devices um, in front of Logic. So what you're looking at here, this is my interface in front of Logic at home. This is a Metric Halo 2882. Um, we're going to combine that with this little M-Box here. Uh, from DigiDesign, which is designed for Pro Tools. But this will give you a pretty good example of how it's done. So let's look up here at my iMac. We're going to go into the Go menu here. Choose Utilities. From there, we're going to go to the Audio MIDI setup. Okay, so this will pop up here. Let me remove this for now. Okay, so this is showing my 2882 here. It's also showing my DigiDesign M-Box. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to press the little plus button here to create an aggregate device. We can call this 2882 plus M-Box, or in the case of our client here, customer, we're going to say, you know, PreSonus 1 and 2, whatever he's going to do. So from over here now, we're going to choose... 2882 and DigiDesign M-Box. So, up here, clock source. It's very important to choose one of these to be the master that the other one clocks off of. So, if you have two PreSonus boxes, I guess just choose number one is fine. Okay, so pretty simple, eh? Okay, you can configure speakers here, which will say uh, output channels one and two, of the first box can be your output one, output two uh, from the DAW. You can apply that. Done. So now that we know the stereo output source of everything is going to come through uh, the outputs one and two of the first box, which is the master here. Okay, so we can close this now and just go into logic here. Let me bring logic up real quick. Okay, so new session, we'll just make an empty one for the moment, there it is, we'll just create one track real quick. Now, under preferences, we're going to click on audio, and here is where we find it now. 2882 plus M-Box. Now, that is our input-output device, okay? So what this means is now, if the FirePod has eight mic pre's, the first one will be one through eight. If that's all it has, then channel nine in Logic will pick up the second pair of mic pre's. If there are more inputs on the PreSonus uh, box number one, then the second box will be seen um, at the next number, meaning if there's 16 inputs on the first box, 17 is where number two will pick up. Uh, and then you should be good to go. You can use the, uh, the software that comes with PreSonus to assign inputs uh, to Logic, and you should be in good shape. So, hope this helps. Thanks.